7, a decision about little-known ties that Broward County has to Confederate history. Right. It has to do specifically with how the county got its name. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live with this story. Carrie. That's right. Governor Napoleon Bonaparte Broward, the man in the statue here behind me, was governor of the state in the early 1900s. And he apparently believed that the black and white races should be forever separated. And it's that belief that is leading to the removal of his statue here at the courthouse. I spent some time this afternoon and read through part of his collected papers that deals with this. In a document that Broward apparently wrote, he believed that whites and blacks could not get along without violence and that land should be bought where African Americans could be moved, where whites would not be allowed, and that African Americans would not be allowed back into the U.S. After discovering that, several leaders in the legal community here felt the statue was not appropriate in a building of justice and equality. Here's what the county's mayor told me a short time ago. Because of the position that Broward takes as being an inclusive community, a welcoming community, and a diverse community, we felt like this statue had no place there. Now, the mayor told me that the statue will likely be coming down in the next couple of weeks. Eventually, she believes it will be placed in a museum. She wanted to point out that this statue was actually made and donated to the county in the early 80s. The county did not commission or pay for it. Now, coming up at 11 o'clock tonight, you'll hear what the mayor told me when I asked her whether this means that the name of the county should be changed. Live at the courthouse, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News. Very interesting piece of history there. Kerry Codd reporting from Fort Lauderdale.